From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome to BBN Tonight. I am not Ali Stumler. I don't believe it. I'm not either, though, but no. we're paying tribute to the volleyball star tonight with our ponytails as the Big Blue Nation celebrates Kentucky's first ever national volleyball championship. Can I take this thing off yet? No, not yet. Uh, all right. Let's uh, begin with highlights from Saturday night's matchup. It's tonight's Big Blue Story presented by Baptist Health. On Saturday night, Kentucky became the first school in the history of the SEC to win the volleyball national championship, defeating Texas 3-1 to one over four sets in Omaha. Allie Stumler, who you. we are wearing the ponytails of, <laughs> had a match high 26 kills against one of the best blocking teams in the nation. Stumler also had five digs and closed out the winning match with a kill from the left side. Madison Lilly had 53 assists in the match, and the National Player of the Year logged a career high and team high 19 digs in the process. Here's what Coach Craig Skinner and some of the key players had to say after winning the title. Well, 100% validates what we've talked about for years. And, you know, you, you have a long-term vision of building a program to compete for a national championship. Obviously, you got to get certain stages before you can have that chance. But all along, we were not going to compromise the way we did it and doing it the right way and being honest and direct and open and um, caring, you know, all that for our players and, and recruiting. And um, But... Just the, our, this staff was amazing this year, what we went through, uh, our administration, our university, and um, you know all the players and coaches come before this to help us get here. I, hopefully, I hope they feel a part of this because it, it's special. I mean, I remember walking down the hallway this morning. I woke up, I'm walking to get taped, to get breakfast. I pass Craig, give him nugs, and I say, Craig, you ready to, ready to win a natty? And he's like, oh yeah. So it was just like, like you said, the moment we woke up, it was, we're going to win this thing. I think the moment we stepped in Omaha, you know, off the plane, it was, we're going to win this thing. And there was never a doubt um, that any team was better than us, that could play harder than us, have more grit, determination. Um, we just knew that we had it. And if we could play like Kentucky volleyball, then we were going to win it all. So just never a moment of doubt for sure. Uh, without a doubt. I mean, the sacrifices and the hours put in the extended season. And I mean, I think it means... 10 times as much. I can't even put enough stress on that. This has been a grind to say the least. And I know now sitting here, it has all been worth it and even more, but um, it was a lot this year and it took a lot of self-discipline and um, to have this end goal in mind was, I mean, crucial to get through the hard moments and there were hard days, no doubt. And um, to push through those and to ultimately see the end goal in mind was everything for us. And uh, uh, the thing that I'm not going to lie, made me nervous was that first set. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, they lose it, and, and I'm thinking, all right, what's happening here? And But then it seemed like they learned something from that first set. Mm -hmm. 
and it just took it from there and won those next three. Right, and I was going to say the same thing. They've been so dominant physically, but what just blew my mind, and I was most impressed with, not even in that set with Texas, that match, but before with Washington, you know they were down a little bit and also against Purdue, and they just remained so calm. So the big, flashy plays were exciting, but I think the most impressive thing and what made this team champions was that they were so calm when they were down, and they knew they were going to come back. They just never faltered. And Madison Lilly, she was a big part of that. She was named the most outstanding player of the NCAA Volleyball Championship. During oh, UK's title run, the senior setter averaged 13.8 assists per set. She had six aces in five matches and was second on the team with 3.35 digs per set. She's also the SEC Player of the Year, the AVCA National Player of the Year, and was named the first-team All-American. Junior Allie Stumler, who's probably really embarrassed by me right now, <laughs> no. came into the season as an All-SEC performer who was expected to take the next step forward in her progression, and oh, how she did that. The outside hitter saved her biggest match of the, the last game of the season turning in 26 kills and just two errors on 51 swings. She added five digs, two service aces, and a solo block, and of course, the best hair in the game, right? Obviously. Yeah. Next up, the Skinner sisters in the final four freshman, Maddie. She was crucial to the UK attack. She had 13 kills and four errors on 25 swings against Washington, followed by a career high 19 kills in the championship match against Texas. That's a freshman. Mm. Her older sister, senior outside hitter Avery Skinner, she was among the team leaders with 14 kills and six digs in that title match. And we'd never forget about Gabby Curry when Texas hit Curry. at Madison After Lilly and touch. Curry had to start the rally with a dig. She took advantage of the number of opportunities to set for UK's hitters. The senior had a career high 13 assists to go with 14 digs. Her position, Libero, doesn't typically get as much of the praise, but Curry certainly deserves it. She was just phenomenal. She blew my mind. My jaw dropped because <laughs> yeah. of the things she was doing. Yeah. Three Wildcats made the 2020 NCAA Volleyball All-Tournament team. That's Madison Lilly, who was also named Most Outstanding Player. And then as also along with Ali Stumler and Avery Skinner. COVID-19 may have kept a lot of the BBN from heading to Omaha, but plenty of fans watched Saturday night's title match at Memorial Coliseum. About 150 people spaced out among the seats cheered as they watched the game on the big screen following a title win. A group of fans took to State Street, which was reminiscent of past basketball championships. But of course, the celebrations didn't end there or the great hair. Yeah. Coming up next on BBN Tonight, we'll take you to yesterday's welcome home ceremony for the Cats at Memorial Coliseum, including exclusive interviews with the coach and team. We'll be right back.